Hello, it's Alex with Red Rock Communications and I'm here today to show you a, an Avea J139. I want to show you the features of this phone. Now to access your features, locate your features button on your screen, button underneath, let's click it. First one we come to is forward. Let's select that using our navigation circle. The button in the middle is your OK. And we have a few options in here. We have follow me to, follow me here, forward unconditional, forward busy, no answer. And underneath this one is mobile twinning if your provider has enabled it within the software. Go back to the top. Now, these two are rarely used, but basically when you go into here, you would select where you want to your forwarding to go to. <clears throat> so if um, on one day you want to sit at another desk, you would go to your original desk, set this as the extension where you're going to be sat, save it, and calls to your extension will then go through to your temporary extension where you were sitting on that particular day. The most common and most used is forward unconditional, which sends all calls, no matter what the calls, to the destination you have set. So usually call forwarding is when you want you, you want to leave the office and you want to take calls on your mobile, for instance, or if you are working from home and you want to take calls on your landline. This is one way of how to be able to do it. Okay, so you would select or press your OK button, either one. It'll ask you what call type you want to forward. So non-group calls are calls directly to your extension. All calls, is, as it says, all calls into your extension, no matter how it's got there, will be forwarded. External calls is when you've got your own DDI number, your own dedicated number direct to your extension. It will forward only those calls. External and group. Again, your external number, and if you're a member of a group, those calls will then be forwarded. But the most popular is all calls. That does what it says. All calls that hit your extension will be forwarded to your destination. Now, to set your destination, you go down to destination. It says edit. So let's edit it. And then it wants you to enter a number. Now, your DIR is your directory. So if you want to send it to another phone, that's... Another number that's already in the directory, that's where you would go. And it would look very similar to how the contacts look, which I've shown you in a previous video. But if you just want to set it to go to your mobile number, you would just simply type in your mobile. And select. Okay, so I've set my number, but it's still off. So to turn it on, we see the, the on button, press on, which changes it to on, but I have to save it. And then you get an icon at the top, which tells you your calls are now being forwarded. But if I go back to my home button, you also get a button in the middle that says status. And when you click this, it'll tell you what state your phone is in, and it tells me, I have forwarded unconditional to this destination. I can look at the details and tell you what type of calls are going to get forwarded. So I've got all calls, and you can change that there if you would like to. External only, group, whatever you'd like. And you can also, from in here, edit to the number. So into details. Go down and I can edit the number it's going to. Just simply type in the number and select save. Okay, and if I was to select off and save it, the icon would go up and also the status would then disappear. Let me go back into features, into forwarding again, and we scroll down. So the same applies for all forwarding. It's just depending on what calls you want forwarding. Again, the, the best bet for yourself is to go forward unconditional. Now, mobile twinning. So with forwarding, when someone rings, if you've got it set, when someone rings your extension, your phone, your desk phone, this, will not ring. 
the destination will ring. That is the difference with mobile twinning. So, so mobile twinning, it works the same, you set the same number, but in this case when someone phones your extension, your desk phone rings and the number you have entered also rings at the same time. So I want to select mobile twinning, it's default, it's off. So again, we turn on and we have to save. We go back into it. We go down and I've already set my destination previously, but to change it, you would edit, enter in your number. Oops, sorry. Let's go down, it's oh, 07. And select. But don't forget to save. If we press the home button, I now get a status again, which again will tell us what status the phone is in. So it's mobile twinning, going to that destination. If I want to quickly turn it off, just press the off button, and my twinning is turned off. So we go back into features, see if there's anything else in mobile twinning to show you. So very simple, it's an on off on your destination. That's all you really need to know in there. But the difference between forward and twinning is forwarding phones, the one phone you're forwarding to, twinning phones them both. Okay, let me go back into features. Next one around, down is phone users. Let's select this. Now, generally you wouldn't need to use this phone, this feature. This would be something that you would need to speak to your administrators about, but you can lock your phone like you used to be able to do in your old, your old mobiles, lock the screen so when you walked away, no one can do anything. You can log in, log out, set a security pin, and you've got the phone screen settings here as well. If you went into here, it tells you different little bits about the screen. Again, no real need for you to go into this section. Again, let me just go back to my home, into features, call settings. Let's select this one, let's see what's in here. A very popular feature, do not disturb. Maybe not for the bosses, but when that is set, no one can phone you. And if you have voicemail set, it will go to your voicemail. Nice and simple. Change. Changes it from off to on. Don't forget to press save. And as you notice, I've got a no entry sign that appears on my screen. And if I go to the, back to the beginning, with my home button, status appears and it tells me, do not disturb, it's on. Nice and simple to turn off. Press the off button and do not disturb is off. Into call settings again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now really that is basically what you would use in here, just do not disturb. Um, there are different ways to put do not disturb on, but you just want to do it manually. That's the way to do it. And you, if you want to show your last call direct duration, you can do use change from off to on and save. Okay, so features again, and into visual voice. That's the visual voice. You may have seen this in a previous video, but that is just another way of getting into your voicemail. So remember this screen. If I go back to my home screen, press my envelope exactly the same by pressing your envelope so what else have we got in features and that sits in there okay I'll end the video there if it gets too long um, and I will do another short video to show you all the features of the actual screen itself thank you